Hello Pisces, thank you for tuning in to your, nope, your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero, it's by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle cards, I'm using the Magical Spell cards, they're by Lucy Cavendish. Alright, let's see what we got. I already shuffled. Okay, so, for the most part, I feel like you and whatever you're dealing with, there's a major energy, like there's one card for each side really describing what's going on. You have the Magician card, and I'm getting, seems like you're not only, it's not just action, because I feel like you've put a lot of thought into this. I'm getting what's coming through uh, you is what, let's go a little slow, because I'm seeing you actually moving through something and like moving things around, because the magician's definitely someone who creates what they want, but I'm feeling you moving things around more, um, trying to make things more palatable. I feel like you're working with what you have already and you're just trying to make it better. Um, the thing is this might evolve into a whole new situation. Like, but I don't feel you're going in with that intention, to tell you the truth. The other side has the the Knight of Pentacles, which I feel like the other side is very dedicated, very reliable. But it feels like you're just kind of really trying to reorganize things. That's how it's starting. But I feel like the, re the reorganizing, trying to improve things, it just seems to evolve to a whole other situation. It's where I feel like this is going. Because what you're going on here in the past is like the Eight of Cups. You started out on this journey and you really weren't sure exactly how far it was going to go or exactly what type of benefits, profits you were going to really reap from it. And I'm getting, as it's gone on, you got the Queen of Cups between you and the other side. It seems like both sides are happy, but it seems like it's more, I, I feel like it's more like just happy and content. I feel like the word content is better. Because um, I don't feel like you explaining on the other side, explaining how happy you really are. It just seems like it's content and comfortable. So you, you started out this journey, you weren't really sure it was going to go, it got very comfortable and content, it feels good. Now I'm feeling like you're content and you're like, well, I'm content, things seem to go well, maybe we can make this a little better. That's where the magician really still starts to feel like they're touching in. Because you're content, you're like, I'm content, but maybe this could be a little better, a little bit more enjoyable. It's not bad, though. And I'm getting, that's where you get this Ace of Wands here. When you're pulling in this Ace of Wands, well, the Ace of Wands is helping, happening between you and the other side, but when you're pushing things to get a little bit more organized, the other side seems to be pushing forward very easily with this because it's not changing the system. It's just reorganizing it or making it more smooth, more conducive with what's already going on. They seem to be very conducive, I guess you could say, very easy to go with this. There's no pushback. I don't feel like there's any pushback because it's what you're trying to do is just reorganize what's already there. You're not trying to change the situation. The thing is, when the Ace of Wands pops in, it's almost like the reorganization like points out so many things. It's like everything becomes very clear and I'm getting like you're going like this and then the reorganization just kind of pushes it in a different direction just because it seems like things are off base. Um, and I feel like this isn't apparent until after not... Now, I wouldn't say the point where you're reorganizing, but where it's actually in motion, and the reorganization is in motion. Now, I'm getting like, it's it's changing the trajectory. It just, it, it looks, it feels like when everything just is more ironed out, makes more sense, is all in line, it just really all of a sudden points out that where things have been seeming to go doesn't match, and it's a better to go this way. That seems to be the better option, the logical option is kind of what I'm feeling. And I'm getting, you're going that way, and I'm, I'm getting this other Earth energy, the Knight of Pentacles, is going right along with you because it just feels like this is what needs to happen. It's still forward motion. It's still the same effort, but the direction, well, the destination has changed. And I'm getting, it's like, as it's veering the way it needs to, it's a comfortable change for this Earth energy you're dealing with. It just feels like 
it's going right along. Because what I'm getting here is you get the death card. The death card is telling me what was going on has now been changed. Like, like the, the, the destination is like, if you're going... Oh, I don't know if I want to use directions. <laughs> um, it's like you're, you're 100 miles off of where you were going to originally stop. It's like if you're going inland somewhere, you're now going to the coast. It's like that much of a difference. And I'm getting it's that, that's the death card popping in here. And I'm getting the other side is following along. And they're seeing the outcome being completely different. Like it's, it's like instead of going inland, you're going to the coast. That's the best way I can say it because it's a dramatic difference. This trip is still going to happen, but it just seems like that's the better outcome. The other side is just slightly pushing into the death. Like the Four of Swords, I'm feeling they, they have nothing... They have nothing to stand on to stop this from happening. They feel like it's the logical thing to do. They, they're not standing in the way because they're feeling like if, if they keep going the direction they were, they were going to go, they're going to end up inland, but nothing's going to be there. If they go to the coast, like the redirection is you know, pointing to, that's where all the profit and good things are. That's how the, the lucrative moment happens. And I'm getting you have the ISIS inspiration to, to push this forward. I'm not seeing really any pushback here. I'm I'm getting the, the earth energy I'm feeling is kind of like kind of like there's no choice. I'm feeling if there was a choice that made sense, they might push a little, but they're looking at it like if I push to, to keep on the same track, it's just a bad idea. It's a dead end. So they're going along with you, but they're feeling like they really it feels very logical to me. Like they logically are looking at this and they're like, they can't say no. They can't force it to the same track because they're seeing it like that's that's just a dead end. It's going to be all this effort for nothing and they don't want that. So the trajectory has changed. The destination is completely different. That's where that death card is hitting in. And when you, you are um, coming to the end of it, this situation, you get judgment the eight of in the eight of pentacles and you got two more cards that are very positive but let's talk about these i'm getting when this situation like you make it to the coast just for argument's sake that feels very good to me it feels kind of like um everything worked out the profit was there the good time was there whatever you were looking for you found what you were actually looking for it worked out the eight of pentacles is telling me that there's another situation that's going to like birth from this one and I'm getting that Eight of Pentacles, and it's kind of hiding behind the um, judgment. You're, you're almost at the point where you're going to see this next situation that comes forward because of how you handled this one. Like I feel like there's another good situation waiting for you. Um, but it's not to complete this do you start seeing that. And it's almost time to start that after this one is completed, which is interesting. Because when I'm getting the judgment, you got the harvest. Now, one thing about the harvest is... At the end of the, well, sometimes I think there's three harvests for grain, I'm guessing. Like sometimes throughout the year, there's a few harvests and then the winter comes and then you start over again. But there's never the last harvest unless you're done with life. <laughs> uh, there's always going to be another harvest. Even when you're done with life, somebody else is going to carry on and there's going to be another harvest. And I'm getting that's what this is. You're coming to the end of this harvest. It's working great. Things are fl very flourishing very flourishing, very positive and, and flourishing. And I'm getting the success, it feels like, not only did this work out well, but there's another one coming up. And you're seeing that next ap opportunity, but not till after this one ends, and you're getting ready to go down another road that's very successful for you based on the success you had here. All right, are we good? I think we kind of got to it. I feel like that's what we needed to say. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct re email, uh, reading from me, shoot me an email, james at gmail.com. That's james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.